recapping another busy week of prep sports. It's high school sports talk on ESPN Radio 94.1. Welcome back to this additional High School Sports Talk presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1 for the 4th of May. It's Kentucky Derby Day and Cinco de Mayo weekend. With the coach Ed Young, I am Matt Hatfield and Ed, we're joined by a special guest right now, a longtime veteran football coach in the area, one of the most respected, and uh, taking a move from Greenbrier Christian to now the new head football coach at Bishop Sullivan Catholic in Virginia Beach. We say good morning and congrats to Coach Tommy Austin. Coach, how you doing out there? I'm well, thank you. How are you this morning, gentlemen? Doing pretty well. Uh, congrats on the new position. Let's start there before we get to your background and the current setup at Bishop Sullivan. What drew you to this new gig at Bishop Sullivan? Well, I'm sure uh, Ed's known me a long time. I seem to be attracted to a lot of challenges. And, uh, you know, obviously this one was a, you know, it's, it's still one of the premier programs in Virginia, especially at the private school level. Um, you know, I was really attracted to, to the challenge of, of doing some things that, that obviously need to be done there. Chris has done a great job, but by going in a different direction, um, you know, there are going to be some challenges, and uh, that's kind of what I'm used to. Uh, it was a, a tough decision to make to leave Greenbrier because, you know, I've, I've enjoyed my three years there, a lot of great people there, a lot of great kids, but just, um, you know, the ability to go and do something that I've, I, I haven't done uh, in a long time, and that's uh, take over a situation that uh, where they've been winning, but you know they're they're going in a different direction, and um, just that challenge and opportunity to be there. Great people at Bishop, and and the feeling was mutual about about the direction the program needs to go in. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to get uh, get things rolling next week, and um, we we got some work to do, but that that's not unusual anywhere you go. Tommy, man, I, I, it's great to hear from you. Um, I'm sitting here smiling as you talk, and I'm flashbacks in my head. Uh, I, I know it's missing in my life. Sit down, talks with Tommy Austin that we used to have way back, <laughs> way back in the day. Um, you, you learned me some things, and uh, I'm I'm happy for you. But I'm still trying to catch up. When Matt said we're going to go over your background, we only have 37 more minutes left in the show. <laughs> I don't think we can do that because no, I, I don't. I don't think you can cover the whole career in just 37 minutes. I think you're going to have to narrow it down to one or two. Yeah, because you're you're the original traveling man, yeah. and you won't even talk about you were on three space shuttles, you were on the first <laughs> ship to Mars, you coached the first team on Mars, and, and they I'm, had mannequins made after you in stores. So you've been all over. Yeah. Yes, I have. It's It's been a... I, not, I won't say a whirlwind, but it's been a lot of stops. I have a friend of mine down in North Carolina. Matter of fact, he's the first guy I worked for. He teases me all the time. He said, I'm going to buy you a white coaching shirt and some Velcro, and you just change the patches. <laughs> that would work for you. You you have been yeah. a lot. But I will say this, and I will say this in all honesty, because most people know me. I'm not going to mix words. Uh, right. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it gets me in trouble. But truth I'm hurts to a lot of people. You are a great character guy in the business. You've accepted challenges that nobody else would touch. You've you've helped kids that probably everybody else would cut. Um, you have done the job, and that's what I remember about you. Every step of the way, you are not afraid to take on a challenge where some coaches, especially once they get a little high of themselves in terms of winning, they will not go take those kind of jobs. You have no problem building programs. You're, you're one of the best character guys in the business, and that will not change. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I take that as a very – uh, a very high compliment coming from uh, someone I respect as much as I do you. We we do go back quite a ways. Uh, Jim Valvano's basketball camps back oh, in the wow. mid eighties, uh, when when I was still a student, and and you were still a you know a first year coach, I think. But uh, we won't talk about how long ago that was. Yeah, that's when I was but, a real youngster. So Tommy, yeah, you must have some great Ed Young stories for us. Easy, Tommy. Uh, easy. <laughs> I would not share any Ed Young stories on the air except for the fact that, you know, we do go back a long way. And, and I know, you know, Ed and I have crossed paths several times, and, and I have a great deal of respect for the things that he's accomplished and the kind of coach he is. And he and I are a lot alike from the perspective of we get ourselves in trouble at times because we say exactly what we think. Uh, I've always believed that it's better to be honest than to have to uh, backtrack and make up a bunch of lies that cover your backside. You know, Ed, Ed is a – a tough coach. He's very straightforward. He lays it out for his guys and said, this is the way we're going to do it. And, you know, that that's the, it's not going to change. 
and that's that's the way I am. Um, I have a great deal of respect for coaches who are like that. You know, we've all had to adapt to the times and and the the type of young men that we get now. Um, it is different from back in the '80s when when I first started coaching. And you know, I I would matter of fact, one of my former guys called me this morning. He said, Coach, he said, you know, I know things have changed a lot. I said, yeah, I went through that phase of having to accept tattoos and earrings. You know, that that that, that was a tough transition for me. So, you know, I, I've adapted, and I think uh, we're still doing, the you know, basically the same thing, still the one rule idea of, of do the right thing and do it all the time. Um, but I, I do think you have to change how you do things, but I don't think you have to change your core beliefs in order to still reach kids today. But Tommy, I've always said that, and, and I, I want to turn this back into we got to talk about you. But you know, people tell me about new school coach. You know, you, you're you're getting older. You got to understand new school. And I said, well, I know I understand how old school works because it works. So right. nobody's explained to me how new school works yet, and I haven't seen the success <laughs> of new school yet. So, amen. amen. Until that changes, you know, discipline, playing together, playing hard, giving your best shot, doing what is right, still works in my book. I, I agree. It, it's worked for me everywhere I've been. You know, the, uh, I've, I've been a lot of places like we just talked about, and, you know, I've had some tremendous opportunities. Uh, I feel like that uh, I truly have been blessed to, to be able to uh, come in contact with the young men and, and the coaches that I've worked with and the administrations that I've, I've been fortunate enough to work with. Um, I don't have very many regrets. I, obviously, like everybody else my age, I have a few. But, um, you know, everywhere I've been, the the chance to, uh, you know, to do what I got into this business for, and that's have an impact on the lives of young people. And, you know, I truly believe that God put me here for four things, to be the best man I could be, the best husband I could be, the best father I could be, and be the best coach I could be. And I've tried to do all those things for the past 35 years. We're talking with Tommy Austin, the new head football coach of the Bishop Sullivan Crusaders, our guest here on High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1. He's been at Franklin, Windsor, Kickatan, Lakeland, Greenbrier Christian, also coached the college level at Shawan, and now taking over a Crusaders program that figures to be one of the top private school programs yet again in 2019 here in Virginia. It's ESPN Radio 94.1. Ed? You forgot on that bio. He was on the, uh, the third shuttle to the moon in case there was a team there. <laughs> That needed a coach. Tommy was ready to take over. They didn't find any, so he jumped back in. And, and, hey, Tommy, now, okay, you, you take the Bishop Solomon job. And, yep. again, that background there is impressive because you've been all over and you've helped all the – you've made your mark on a lot of kids. What are a couple things that comes to Tommy Austin's mind as I take this Bishop Solomon job? What are some things I've got to get done early in terms of what's inside that mind for this job? Uh, number one, I think that we, we've got to reach out and make sure that we uh, get the young men that are in the building, that are in the program right now, we've got to convince them that what we're going to do is is going to be worth their while. Um, you know, obviously some of them, you know, they could they could go somewhere different. But, you know, it is our hope that what we're going to present to them is going to be uh, what they want, what they need to, to get where they want to go, whether it's just to graduate from Bishop Sullivan or obviously, you know, to go play at the next level. Uh, I think with, with the experience that I bring, you know, the, um, you know, I, I still have contacts, you know, in, in the college world. I still think, you know, we can get kids in school. And I think what we're going to put on the field is not going to be significantly different than what they presented in the past. And, you know, we expect to be physical. We expect to be well conditioned. We expect to be well organized and we expect to play as a team. And, you know, the, the young men that I met the other day, they're excited to get going. You know, that being in limbo, you know, ha- has been a struggle for a lot of them. But I think the biggest thing is to, to re-recruit those guys that are in the building and the ones who, who didn't play last year, to re-recruit those guys and get them back, you know, in the fold, get them back on the train like I talked about the other day when I met with some of them. I said, you know, we're, we're going to get the train on the track and get it going full speed. And we need everybody that wants to be on board to get on board as quick as possible because it's pulling out of the station on Monday. You know, you just made a statement that hit me, something that we didn't have to do back in the day. you got to recruit your own players in your own building. Now, who would have thought about that years ago? You know, you yeah. took what walked in the door and you try to make them the best they can. But with right. today's type of kid, you almost got to convince them on the daily to stay. And, well, and Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, I mean, I think they just have opportunities, you know, and, I, you know, some of them are homegrown and some of them have transferred in, 
you know, to try to have that opportunity to be in that academic environment and, and to enhance either their academic skills or their athletic skills. So what we don't want to do is we don't want kids to leave because of that, the transition period. You know, we, we've got to hit the ground running to convince them that staying at Bishop Sullivan and, or coming to Bishop Sullivan or getting back on the field for Bishop Sullivan is going to be the greatest thing they could do. Coach, I want to ask you about, we know about obviously the, the past few years, Bishop Sullivan playing some national ranked teams and IMG Academy, American Heritage. And in January, the TCIS agreed to re- reinstate the Crusaders in football. It doesn't sound like you'll be able to compete for a conference title until next year, though, in 2020. What's it looking like in terms of the schedule? Because I know the last couple of years that was something that was really an unknown at times. Do you have any idea what the schedule looks like for this coming year? Uh, actually, um, I know Coach Hogger's been working on it, and um, you know he's been in contact with some schools that have said, "Hey, look, once we know who your coach is, then we'll decide whether we're going to play you." Okay. Um, right now, I know we have seven confirmed. Um, I, you know, I, I put out some feelers yesterday myself to to some friends, uh, both in Virginia and in North Carolina, to to try to find three more games. Um, we feel positive, you know, about the schedule. Obviously, getting. Um, you know, the other TCI schools back on the schedule next year, which, you know, Nansen, Suffolk, and Norfolk Academy, because we're already playing Norfolk Christian, but, you know, the opportunity to get back into the TCIS and do things, to, you know, and again, this is not a criticism of what's happened in the past because, you know, I told the parents and kids that I met with the other day, I can do zero about what happened before I got there. Right. You know, as, as of, as of uh, you know, Thursday, as of Thursday afternoon, I, I, I have some control over where it goes from there. But, uh, you know, not to criticize what, what's happened in the past, but we've got to get back in good graces with the people in the state of Virginia and prove to them that we're doing things, not that they were being done wrong, it's just being done different, you know, before. Now we, we're going to do things differently. We're going to be a, a, a good neighbor. We're going to be a good member of the of VISA and a good member of the TCIS. Now that doesn't mean we're not going to try to, uh, you know, run them out of the stadium when they come to Bishop. Um, you know, I'm not talking about running up the score. I'm just talking about we're going to try to beat everybody we play because mm-hmm. uh, they keep score, so we're going to try to win. But we're going to do it the right way, and we're going to do it the way that, um, you know, the, the administration at Bishop wants it done. And uh, we're, But we're going to make sure we're competitive and we're quality and we're still looked at as one of the best programs in the state of Virginia. I got one more, then I'll kick it back over to Ed, because I know he has more for you. Tommy Austin, our guest here on High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com on ESPN Radio 94.1, the new head football coach, the Bishop Sullivan Crusaders with us. Uh, your most recent stint, Greenbrier Christian, they, they've they been a TCIS member, so the transition there from private school, private school, shouldn't be too difficult from that standpoint. But also, I know that was a challenge for you, eight-man football. Kind of speak on leaving that program and the challenges you took there that you can apply to your new situation. Well, and, you know, one, I was, I, you know, I would like to think I was one of the driving forces behind, but with John Blake and, and some others up, you know, John from uh, St. Anne's Belfield, to get the eight man league going uh, because Coach Moore, the AD at Greenbrier, and I, we could, you know, we could see the future that Greenbrier was going to have a hard time not only competing in the TCIS, but being able to field an 11 man team every year. So don't get me wrong, I love eight man. Uh, I, I didn't leave Greenbrier because, you know, because, I didn't like eight man. I love eight man. Uh, you know, they say the spread offense is basketball on grass. Well, eight man football is basketball on speed on grass. Um, you know, it's, it's fast and it's exciting and there's a lot of offense. Uh, as a defensive, uh, minded coach, it's, it's terrifying every week. But, um, you know, the, the eight man concept and, and the kids that we had that committed to football at Greenbrier, uh, we're doing a great job, and the program is going to continue to grow. There's a core group of young men there that have that have bought into the eight man concept, and, and they're you know I told them I said I'll be very upset if you guys don't win a state championship without me in eight man. Uh, private school to private school, you know there are a lot of similarities. You know I'm familiar with the TCIS. Um, you know I, you know been around a long time, been in the area a long time. I have a lot of friends that have coached in the TCIS. Um, you know I was part of the two organizations that started the playoffs for football and baseball, uh, you know, way back before VISA even existed, you know, we created uh, leagues for football and baseball to have all state teams and playoffs. And, you know, I was, I was fortunate to be involved in that er, in the early years. But, um, you know, I, I think that being, being back in the TCIS is going to give us a lot of advantages. I think it's going to give us an opportunity for our young men, not only to compete for that conference title, but it will enhance our opportunities to, to make the playoffs and, and compete 
you know, obviously everybody wants to win championships. That's not our number one priority. But if you don't start talking about, you know, being in the playoffs and being in the championship games the first day, you know, then what are you, what are your goals? You know, I mean, uh, I talked to some guys down at Clemson, you know, their goal is to win the state championship, win the ACC and win the national championship every year. Is that going to happen? Probably not. But, you, you know, you set your goals thinking about, you know, winning the first game, winning at home, and that that's where we are. Tommy, are you at liberty to mention anything about assistant coaches? Uh, can you divulge that, or are you still working on that? Well, I'm, I'm working on that right now. I've talked to a few people. Um, Coach Hoggard has agreed to stay. Um, you know, he's one of the best offensive line coaches in the state of Virginia, um, and, and I've, I've asked him if he would stay, and he, he's agreed to do that. Uh, you know, on top of his AD duties, uh, we have, he has talked to a few guys. I have talked to a few guys. Um, you know, somebody asked me at the press conference the other day if I was bringing anybody from Greenbrier. Uh, the folks at Greenbrier, for the most part, they have strong connections to the school. And, you know, either their, their, their children are there or their, their sons are still playing, you know, some sport there. So, you know, they're going to remain there. Um, I, I do believe that I'm going to be able to get, uh, I don't, you know, I'm one of those guys. I don't, I don't need a big staff, you know, because I want guys who are going to coach both sides of the ball and buy into what we're doing, uh, you know, year round if possible. And uh, I think that, you know, we're going to have we're going to have more guys that are probably going to have to do do double duty. We hope, you know, not everybody every game, but uh, you know, I think the opportunity to do that. So we're going to, you know, I'm looking for two guys. We're going to you know, do some advertising on football scoop and, you know, put, we put the word out, you know, through word of mouth, through friends, coaching friends and things like that. And, you know, I expect we'll, within the next two weeks, we should have, uh, have some guys in place. Uh, I don't want to mention any names right now because, uh, you know, they, they, there are a couple of guys that I've talked to that, you know, have currently have coaching jobs and I certainly don't want to, you know, stir the pot you know, for anybody else or get them in any trouble where they are until they make up their mind. Sure. My last question for you, Tommy, is um, are you work- going to be teaching, working at the school? Yes, I'll be teaching uh, in the phys ed department. Okay. Well, Coach, congrats again on the job. We're happy for you. Uh, our man Thomas Simmons, our producer, is a Bishop Sullivan guy, and Ed Young's a Tommy Austin fan. So we'll have to get out there to Finch Field for a game or two this year, all right? Thank you so much, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you and uh, this morning and I certainly appreciate the attention you're giving to our program. And um, Ed, it's good to talk to you again. Matthew, it's good to talk to you. And I look forward to seeing you guys at, at Bishop anytime. You're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Coach. We'll talk, Tommy. We'll talk. All right, Ed. Call me anytime. Thank you. Tommy Austin, our guest, the new head football coach of the Bishop Sullivan Catholic Crusaders here on High School Sports Talk, presented by VirginiaPreps.com. We'll react to that. And we also have Derby picks coming around the corner. Don't go anywhere. It's ESPN Radio 94.1.